Hey everyone, let's do the Ancient Dinosaur EXTREME. Um, even though it states dinosaur, meaning beast, it is a dragon type, weak to fire and dark. Also deals gradual damage, physical attacks. This sounds like a job for our budget Maeve. You can use literally any tank though. So the missions, nobody KO'd, three turns or less, um, and four party members or less. So this is the team we'll be using. Again, if you don't have Maeve, just use any Neo Vision physical tank. Let it be physical tank, that's what you need. But nothing else really necessary. We're using Ling because, because she can grant uh, chain frames. If you have Roberta, Roberta is the best option for this as she does have Dragon Killer. Now I don't assume you have Roberta, so we'll go with Ling because everyone should have Ling. She was free after all. Um, we are also using the free unit Squall. Now mine is already EX plus 3. Yours may not be, but the difference between EX plus 2 and EX plus 3 Squall is literally just 1000 static attack. This isn't going to make or break this, um, as I didn't stat pot or door pot him yet, so my attack is certainly lower than yours if yours is EX3 and stat potted. Also, I'm using super, super budget gear on him. So there's not a single STMR other than his own. You'll see all the gearing later on. And the same applies to Titus. Titus is EX plus 3 regardless. Uh, EX plus 3 for free regardless. So, like I said, gearing is afterwards. We are starting this fight first. So we'll start us off with Squall doing Lion's Spirit. That's just a modifier boost. It also consumes his gauge. We use we chose to choose to fight back, which is a fire amp, 30% attack boost, the bad one though, etc. And then we'll use a flame barret plus 100% fire and peril. We'll get a better one um, next turn though. Titus will just power up Ace's ability, which doesn't do anything to the fight. It's just so he lines up chaining with Squall. And we'll do slice and dice fire, which also imbues him. Leng on turn 1 is going to uh, disarming movements for breaks. You don't need to technically break, the boss cannot be broken to attack and magic. And Squall's super limit burst has an 87% defense break and spirit break regardless. So the break we're applying right now gets overwritten anyway. It's just so Titus also has a break when he DPSs. Refreshing 12 for some Mirage stacks which are necessary and passionate performance to fill LB gauge. Maeve is going to practice lore, which is also a 65% dragon enemy type reduction. That's why I'm bringing Maeve, she's ideal for this. Again, if you don't have her, don't sweat it. It's not that big of a deal. My Maeve has no stat pots, increases or anything. She's just EX2 and nothing else. And obviously a little bit of gearing. Natural protection for uh, physical cover and effective strategy for ailment resistance and stat resistance for the entire party, or stat reduction resistance. Let's chain these two up. Merely a setup turn, we won't deal much damage, honestly. But that's not the goal. Okay, so as you can see, there are some attacks. Maeve also has um, uh, a dot damage now on her, but that's fine. All right, let's see. We can use Agile. Edge, which got um, heavily modifier boosted, if I'm not totally mistaken by now, and Spiral Cut on Titus. We are also going to shift Lang here. She's going to the Blaze of the Phoenix to imbue and amp, especially Titus, who has no amp yet, and also a 120 imperil onto the boss. We will use Celestial Combination Step to grant Maeve Stardust Ray Frames. And the last one is up to you. Uh, I'm gonna use Dragon Dancer, just because, why not? So we'll chain this up. Maeve can just guard, she has no nothing to do. So let's go. And this should be dealing a good chunk of damage. Oh yeah, 68. Almost got that, 69. Alright, so the boss just does a few attacks, nothing too fancy. A rather dull fight. So Maeve and Ling will now triple chain Stardust Ray, Might of the Dragon. 
both squall and titus will super limit burst um what's important here is titus's super limit burst is rather slow and squalls is rather quick so yeah it's a lose-lose situation for everyone all right so we're starting off with the chainers and then send in and the other two let's go Oh yeah, and Titus was way too late. <sighs> I hate Titus's timing so much, honestly. Let me just restart this and show this off properly because now the damage uh, is going to be not representative and I want to show you that this is still absolutely doable if your squall is not EX plus three. Because Titus should be dealing a good chunk of damage as well, so let's check it out and i'll just send them both in uh, as soon as or i can send in titus a little bit earlier i don't know i i think i can just send them in once the chain starts it should be fine totally yeah i think so it's just i i hate units such as titus for his super slow super limit burst. I do prefer uh, the, the quicker ones such as Titus's, but not too quick, like Lara Croft fires off way too soon and it's rather a Peter to use her um, shifted LB as I had noted in last Vision World. Okay, so we loaded it up. Let's do this again, let's do this properly so you guys can see how this actually should be working. Okay, uh, triple Might of the Dragon, Might of the Dragon. So we're starting off Titus first, uh, just to have this out of the way. So he's not benefiting from the 87 breaks, but that's whatever. So Titus goes first, send in these two, and send him in, send him in. All right. So Titus dealt 800 million, which is enough if uh, your tide, uh, your squall also chains but we did 3.2 billion uh, the boss should have around 2 billion or 3 billion in total we did 32 percent earlier so that's fine and also keep in mind no 87 percent breaks for um squ uh, for titus so yeah that's damage breakdown Squall did most of his damage though on his super limit burst, that is 2.4 billion. So Titus technically did a little bit more chaining, but it's rather close-ish. I'm sure that Titus, if he were able to benefit from the 87 break, would be a little bit higher than this. But yeah, as you can see, works out very well indeed. And if you're struggling with DPS, just bring a fifth unit. I mean... Um, there is no harm in bringing a fifth unit, taking, doing this in um, three turns and then getting back to it and uh, do it for four units in more turns. So you can just do this twice and it still works, right? Okay, uh, I can check the gear, so let's check out the gearing. Like I said, um, neither Squall nor Titus are using STMRs. So let's check out Maeve. As you can see, she has super low HP because nothing is potted here. Um, so this is the gearing. Yeah, she's using her own STMR. She has EX plus two, so I feel like this is rather okay. Other than that, everything is for free on her. Yeah, basically everything. Just a few non-free stats from uh, Avalanche's Jesse, Reclaim Serenity, I hope you bought it from last class shop. It was not necessary at all. And she's using her own mission card. Brave Shift, it is geared the exact same way, but you don't need a Brave Shift for this. Next up, Ling, uh, Pause of Prosperity, Dragon's Brush. But since we are starting in the base form, you don't need Dragon's Brush, you don't need Pause, you don't need Call of the Wild and also don't need Advanced Weaponry. You are rather sure-ish to fill her LB gauge on turn 1 regardless. Brave Shift, identical. And next up is Squall, he's using his own Super Trust Master. 
Um, Squall, what's really cool about him, just the um, STMR. I have no item world rolls on this. It already caps his attack percent and true double hand attack, which is super nice. Uh, Rise Tron is free. I hope you have to clash cloves. You need the um, chain cap increase if your lone line squall is not EX plus two. At EX plus two, just like Titus, um, lone line squall has six X chain six X chain cap. Other than that, the usual suspects. No STMRs in here. Dragonflyer. I don't know where this is from. This is from Clash of Worlds. Yeah, that's from Clash of Worlds as well. Drinkler Plus, nothing too fancy, and he's on the Type 0 card because it has Limit Burst damage, 25%. Um, and he is at 300 Dragon and overcapping a bit on Limit Burst damage, but that's fine. So as you can see, with super, super cheap gearing, already super efficient. So yours has 6.3k if he doesn't have EX plus 3. Please keep in mind, you will only be able to use his Blast Zone, which is only 80x, which is uh, one third of what his Super Limit Burst does, because the Super Limit Burst is 120x and 50 unmitigated, meaning this is uh, a 240x. So it's a third of the damage if you cannot use his Super Limit Burst on turn three. And then there's Titus. His gear is basically almost all this, all of this is free. Um, yeah, other than overcoming hatred, but you should have this by now. So he too is at 300, 300, 300 LB, 300 dragon. And he's on the um, Final Fantasy VI card with Celeste on it. That's the team. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you. Hopefully tomorrow or on Saturday for the Knights of Grand Charge review. Bye bye.